I did have a plan, but it kind of failed because the reason I say this is because I had the bridge measured at 55 centimeters, which has to be over 50. And by accidently, I kind of made it 60, so now it's a bit longer, so I and I had to use up more popsicle sticks for that. So instead of 50, I went to 60, so that's like an extra only 5 centimeters, but still, that's a couple extra sticks and the longer sides and stuff. So and the plane required 150 sticks, but it, I only was able to use 100, so it kind of messed me up. Some of the problems I encountered was that if you look right here, there's like this stronger part right there, which is I thought was pretty much of an advantage because I cross beamed them. But on the weaker sides, I don't find these um these um sides as big and as strengthy because when I put it on the the structure like that, like on the thingy. Yeah, now you're in my video, Matt. Weaker spots um are on the edges because when it's on the thing, the little tool that Mr. Wilder has, it's gonna be stretched out more. So when it, then it, when you put it like this, you're gonna have it bending. To be exact, I honestly don't expect my bridge to hold up because the only weight that's really heavy is at the part where the loading plate will be going on, which I still think that one might snap because the other parts may the other parts may still get it give out first in the side. So I honestly don't expect it to hold up most. It's stronger than you thought, isn't it, dude? Oh, yeah, it <laughs> pretty well. Shit! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh, no, I'm butler. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it. It's actually. Oh, you can see it. Oh, you can see it. Oh, you can see it. Some of the weak spots that I think are yeah, near the end. Well. This is because yeah. there's not much stuff in there. There's not much. It's just one pop and four five across the edge and the sides are pulled up. Not actually very much because it's actually It's just a bit. Some sticks touching, some are not. And my bridge hold uh, for one gram it hold a hundred grams and it, it was able to put on um, 40 40 grams of weight so I thought that was pretty good because it was a lot stronger than what I thought it would be and it weighed 175 grams which was actually a bit heavy because of all the glue and stuff I used The reason my bridge failed was because I lost the end popsicle sticks so that there wasn't really much support near the ends and then near the bottom there was not any any like more stabilized and if there was a couple more I could have put a couple more sticks on it to make it a lot more sturdy and then maybe have a chance of holding more weight. My per my predictions were pretty much correct because when they, my bridge only broke on the side uh, well, I think, and uh, then it kept we'll going, the, the it was able to continue during through the second half I was going to put it on, but then maybe the only reason it couldn't because it, I broke the part where it goes through the center, so that was on the, so it just go through the hole and it just kept sliding off, so I believe my predictions were actually right. It's stronger than you thought, isn't it, dude? Yeah, it's doing pretty well. Shit! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. No, I'm not You can see it. You can see it. Keep going down. You can see it. I don't care. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Oh, you can see it. 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 Oh, you can
I could have improved the design because I could have double used it and I could have used like a instead of like a just a flat deck I could have used beam a, beam a suspension bridge or something to make it even heavier and home more.